Hi, I'm Paul Vicheski and welcome to our new video. We've been doing a series of videos called Increasing Your Profits, specifically for those that own rental properties or investment properties or who may manage those type of residential properties. Today, our new tactic is called using the bi-monthly rent payment. I have it on your screen in front of you. Very common standard monthly rent payment is the most typical thing that we see. This is where you run your tenant through the normal screening process. They qualify and they're only paying one rent price every month, usually the first of the month. So let's look at this scenario here. Standard monthly rent. So we have a monthly rent price of $1,000 per month. Over a 12 month period or an annualized basis, our tenant is gonna generate $12,000 in gross revenue for the, uh, the owner or the property management company. Pretty standard scenario that we see but we're trying to increase our profits and think out of the box. So one of the things that we can do, or one option is, is use the bi-monthly rent payment. And just FYI, the tenants love this option. They love having the option of being able to pay their rent two times a month because many times tenants get paid twice or three times a month and it allows them to manage their money a little bit. And the good thing is, they're always willing to pay a little premium for that service. I mean, they're already accustomed to having to pay that rent on the first. So if you give them an option to be able to pay that rent twice a month to coincide with their checks, usually uh, they will jump at it and usually pay a little, a little bit more. So in our scenario for the bi-monthly rent payment, let's look here, we have a monthly rent price of 1,050. Well, where did that extra $50 come from? Well, every two weeks, they're gonna pay $525 in the same scenario here. So they're paying $525, and that $25 is what we call the premium, the rental premium for doing it. If they're over here, they're just paying straight up five, uh, sorry, $1,000 a month, but since we're allowing them to do it, the premium is that $25. Over an annualized basis, that's gonna generate an additional $600 of nothing but pure profit for you. Now, maybe the property will dictate a higher premium, depending on the property and the tenant pool that you're in and the location of the property, that typically will determine how high the rents are. Some parts of your town, you maybe can only get a premium of 25, and other parts that maybe I've seen as high as $100, generating $200 a month extra, it just kind of depends. Typically, single family homes, you can get a little bit more than you can for apartments. But let's get back to our scenario here. So at 550, 24 payments at 550, that's gonna generate $13,200 of annualized gross income for a profit of $1,200. That's just $1,200 of additional income that that property has generated by utilizing the bi-monthly rent payment. Sometimes when I when I talk to owners about this or my clients, they'll say, well, yeah, but you know, they're only looking at the individual, you know, property. This home here is only going to generate 50 extra dollars a month. Is it worth it? Well, now we have to look at the scalability. So let's say that you have a hundred units, or maybe you have 150 units, but you get a hundred of those units utilizing the bi-monthly rent payment. Now all of a sudden at the twelve hundred dollars, that is $120,000 of extra income for simply offering a concierge service that the tenants want anyways. You know, at the $25, it still generates 60 extra thousand dollars a year. Once again, this is just a way to think out of the box. It's really easy to implement as well. And again, tenants love it. One thing I do want to say here, let's go back to the standard monthly rent here. When you're, when you're, Obviously, when you're screening your tenants, you're going to run them through your normal screening process, your normal tenant selection po uh, process, which one of those should be you're checking their monthly debt to income. We want to make sure that they make enough every month to, to afford their rent and utilities and, and their bills and whatnot. And we usually do a credit check, which sometimes includes a credit score. And so what we want to make sure, and it's the same thing over for the bi-monthly rent, but the one thing we want to make sure that whatever that premium is, is it is it $100 extra a month? Is it 50? Is it 200? Whatever it is, you need to make sure that they can afford it by adjusting their debt to income ratio. Now, if this tenant is right on the edge of being able to, to afford it at the standard price, then you probably are not going to offer it to them. However, if they have plenty of room here on their monthly debt to income, 
then they're probably going to be a good candidate and then you're going to offer it to them. Uh, another thing that I see is sometimes they want the owners want a higher credit score. So you may have a minimum 650 credit score, but to qualify this for this program, you have to have a 720 or, or a 680. It's your tenant selection policy. I'm just trying to give you some ideas of some of the things that other owners uh, use for the qualification. Usually the bi-monthly qualification is a little bit stricter uh, than the, the normal standard month. Uh, one last thing I would say is management contract. If you're a third party manager, you have to make sure that it's clearly spelled out in the management contract so you and your owner are all on the same same page. And the biggest thing is determining who gets to keep all this extra revenue. Is it the managers, is it the owners, or is it split? And if split, what is the split? 50-50, 60-40, uh, those type of things. I know the next question I'm gonna get is, hey, do you have a sample of a, uh, of a, a lease addendum or provision? And if you just drop me an email, nebraskalandlord at gmail.com, I'll send you my whole lease. You're more than welcome to use it however you want, which does include this provision. So uh, thank you so much for joining us. And once again, I do encourage you to leave comments, thumbs up, share this with your other landlord or property management friends, if you would. Until next time, happy landlording.